everyone and welcome to day eight of the 12 days of craftmas can you believe we're over halfway through already today i'm going to show you how to make this last minute gift for a traveler or anyone really with a place that's really special to them for this project you're going to need some watercolor paper some instant coffee a cookie sheet a paper towel, some tracing paper, a 3B pencil, some tape, a stylus, a black ink marker, a printout of the map that you want to make, um, smaller than your watercolor paper, and two 11 by 14 frames. As you saw earlier, you'll need to heat up some water and let it cool a little bit. While you do that, take a sheet of watercolor paper and artfully rip up the edges. After your water has cooled to the point you can touch it without burning yourself, put two tablespoons of instant coffee onto a paper towel. You can use one tablespoon to get a lighter color in the final product, but I preferred the look of using two tablespoons. Gather the edges of the paper towel and dunk it in the water. You don't want it soaked, but enough for it to start bleeding into the water. Then bring it over to your ripped watercolor paper in a cookie sheet and just soak the paper in the coffee water. If you want your paper to look more like a crumpled up old map, the best time to do the crumpling is when the paper is wet. I crumpled mine just after I soaked the front of the paper, but before I soaked the back, and then I crumpled it again after I soaked the back of it. I also pressed the front of the watercolor paper into the cookie sheet and then peeled it up. And I liked the texture that it gave. It gave it more of an uneven look. I let mine dry overnight, but if you're in a bit of a rush to get this gift finished, a hair dryer works great for drying it quickly. If you do use a hair dryer, make sure to get it completely dry and not to leave any damp spots. Also, your hands will get covered and so sticky in this coffee mixture. The next step of this is to use some graphite paper to trace your map onto the antiqued paper. I didn't have any, so I'm going to show you how to make some. You'll need a sheet of tracing paper that is slightly larger than your map. Then tape it down to a very smooth surface on all edges. I use the cover of the pad of my watercolor paper. Then just go to town coloring every inch of it with your pencil. Seriously, you don't want any of the tracing paper showing anymore. When it's completely covered, take the other paper towel and rub the pencil into the tracing paper. This will blend it into more of a smooth surface. Then peel up the tape and fold it over the edge of the paper. This will give it a little bit more stability too and it won't rip your paper when you try to pull the tape off. I like to write this side up just so I know which side has the graph graphite on it. And this is how my antiqued paper dried. This is the one I used one tablespoon of coffee with and this is how it turns out with two tablespoons. The next part is to actually trace your map onto the antiqued paper using the graphite paper. To do that, sandwich the graphite paper between the antiqued paper and your map with the graphite side of the page touching the antiqued paper. Then use your stylus and push pretty hard to trace your map onto the antiqued paper. Before you get too far in tracing, pull up the corner of your map and check just to make sure the lines that you're making are dark enough to see. I got my stylus at Dollar Tree, but they have them at other art stores. You can also use the tip of a mechanical pencil with no lead or a regular number two pencil that hasn't been sharpened recently. 
I chose to do a map of Taiwan because I lived there for a couple years, but I would choose a place that is meaningful to the person you're making it for. Maybe it's where they were born, maybe it's where they go back to over and over again, uh, maybe it's somewhere they really want to go. If you choose a country, the outline if it would work great, but if you choose a city, I would suggest you define the edges that you want to work with. Maybe give it a square border and leave extra space at the bottom like a Polaroid picture. Then you can put the name of the place in that space at the bottom. When it's all traced out, take the graphite paper and your map off and draw the lines again with the black marker. It may be a little hard to see the lines in some spots, so just refer back to your original map. I ended up not needing to, but you can erase some extra lines if you want. Just make sure not to press too hard because sometimes it can take off the color of the coffee antiquing that you did. When you're finished with drawing over your lines with the black marker, sandwich your final piece between the panes of glass from the two 11 by 14 frames and put it in one of the frames. I absolutely love how this turned out, partially because I like the style of it and partially because it's a place that really means something to me. Thanks for watching! If you like this project, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see the rest of the 12 Days of Craftmas. I will link days 1 through 7 on the left of your screen, so check them out, and I will see you for day 9.